What's going on, all you diecast racing fans, and welcome back to EP Videos. I am your host, EP, and here with me, my robot friend and co-host, is Ted. We're kicking off group number four of the Rallycross Tournament. What are you doing with that speaker, Ted? We've had complaints that people can't hear the music. No, no, no. The complaints were that the music is too loud. We have to turn it down. They can't hear the announcing. Now, our group of drivers today is Grey Wizard, Dusty Miles, Uncle Elvis, and Bolo Brown. Ted, what are you doing? Wait, no. Let's no, get this party no, started. Ted. <laughs> Ted, you gotta turn it down. It's too loud. Ted, can you hear me? Hello? Oh. Ted, currently sitting in that pole position is Bolo Brown, driving for miniature car racing. Can anyone hear me? Should I even bother? Uh, wow. Can you hear me now? My ears are ringing. Ted, you gotta bring that volume way down. Now, currently sitting in that pole position was Bolo Brown, who's been quickly passed by Uncle Elvis as they move into jump number two. Woo, that's how we get it done. Uncle Elvis going big off of our second jump here at Pikes Peak. Coming in first, Uncle Elvis, second place, Dusty Miles. Third place goes the Great Wizard, and fourth place, Oops. Was supposed to be Bolo Brown. It doesn't look like he finished. Let's take a look back on that replay, see what happens. Bolo Brown loses his pole position to Uncle Elvis, but manages to sneak back into that second place position. Now, is this where it happens? Terminated. Yeah, it looks like Bolo Brown's up on his lid. Oh, and the Gray Wizard insult to injury to Bolo. It's just not his day today. That car may be a little too top heavy for the track. Coming in first, we had Uncle Elvis with five, second place Dusty Miles with three, third place Grey Wizard with two, and last place Bolo Brown with no points. Kicking off race number two, sitting in that pole position is Uncle Elvis. The King, Elvis Presley? Nah, I don't think there's any relation. Uncle Elvis is purely just a diecast racer. Now watch out, here comes Dusty Miles. Wow, that was messy. But Dusty manages to take that first place position. Can he hold it? Whoa, watch out, here comes Elvis and the Gray Wizard, both challenging. Looks like it's gonna be tight groove to the finish. Miles first, second place Elvis, third place Wizard, and fourth place Bolo Brown, putting up one point on the board. Now take a look at this replay, a jump in tandem. The landing was quite messy, grinding the sidewall, and somehow manages to make the pass on Uncle Elvis. Now Dusty Miles is the top qualifying car in the tournament. He had the fastest track time, so we have high hopes and expectations for this driver. The Jaguar I-Pace is the new Evo. I don't know, the Evo is pretty fast. Jaguars eat Evos for lunch. Oh come on Ted, we don't need to get graphic, leave that out. Between out. Numbskull's four in the Jaguar I pace, I should have all the tools I need for global domination. You know what, Ted? I don't like you spending time with Cyberdyne systems. They have a bad effect on your personality. Currently sitting in the pole position for lap number three is our hero, Dusty Miles, driving for Milestone Racing. And Dusty and Uncle Elvis off to an early lead into the tunnel and into the jump. And all the drivers get a clean landing. Well, almost all the drivers. Uncle Elvis in reverse. Dusty Miles in reverse in jump number two. This is one backwards race in lap number three. Coming in backwards, Dusty Miles. Backwards, Uncle Elvis. And frontwards is the Gray Wizard. Bolo Brown again, nowhere to be found. Terminated. Double DNF elimination. It looks like he crashes off of jump number one. He's up on his lid. It has just not been his day today with two DNFs and only one fourth place finish, giving him a total of a whopping one point. I don't think Bolo is moving on in the tournament, but we want to thank him for joining us here. Now it's going to come down to Dusty Miles, Uncle Elvis, and maybe with a hope, the Gray Wizard, but even if the Gray Wizard takes first, he'll only get a total of 11 points. Sitting in that pole position is the Gray Wizard, driving for Gold Now Racing. Let's see if he can pull out a first place win in lap number four. Group stays nice and tight into the first 90. Gray Wizard starting pull ahead with Dusty Miles on his tail, pushing him through the tunnel and into the jump. 
Grey Wizard gets sideways, grinding the sidewall, and recovers with Dusty Miles still hot on his tail. Bolo Brown and Uncle Elvis nowhere to be seen in the background. Grey Wizard still fighting. Can he hold it down to the finish line? Grey Wizard takes first, Dusty Miles second place, and it looks like we have a double DNF with Bolo Brown and Elvis. Can we see it in the replay? Oh, Bolo goes off the jump and straight to his lid, creating a huge block for Uncle Elvis. Oh, and we have a tie between the Grey Wizard and Uncle Elvis. What does that mean, Ted? Sudden death. That's right, it's sudden death. The first driver to score two points will move on in the tournament with Dusty Miles. Can we turn up the music? All right, Ted, go ahead, turn it up. There you have it, folks. Uncle Elvis takes the win, and he's moving on with Dusty Miles. If you enjoyed today's episode, stick around and watch more diecast racing right here at EP Videos.